Guys, welcome to Gunners Lovers TV. This is the match between uh, Arsenal and uh, Brighton. Arsenal started very well in the first half. Saka missing about two or three chances. By now, would have scored, uh, you know, about three to four goals. Odega meeting one at the middle with the cross coming in with his weak foot. He didn't place it well. Uh, that would have also been another goal. And then you see the uh, all rushing Saka coming in from the right, trying to score, uh, and then being uh, marked by the defenders. He didn't release the ball on time. The same thing for Trosa. Trosa starting in place of Martinelli, and then he was blocked. His view was blocked. He could not uh, really uh, fire the ball and see where he wanted to place it. And finally, the goal came. When um, a high ball, I think from Timber from the back, dunk for Brighton could not handle it while the ball was bubbly, bouncing, and uh, into the air, Saka, who is not as tall as dunk, got the ball from dunk and um, passed it immediately to uh, Harvard, even though there was a Brighton player on rushing coming. And now it was Harvard versus the goalkeeper for Brighton. <clears throat> The unrushing Brighton goalkeeper met an experienced German at number nine, uh, Harvard, and he just lobbed the ball above the head of the goalkeeper into the net. And the whole stadium shouted in jubilation. Yes, Arsenal won, Brighton zero. Now, even on uh, the, the TNT and uh, all these sports people, Everybody is now convinced that um, uh, Kai Havert is an uh, uh, undisputed number nine now. Everybody can now see why Ateta did not buy a striker because uh, Arsenal is playing a team game and the weave passes around the, the wingers and the number nine and the goals can come from anywhere. But I must say I'm not happy with the officiating of the referee. His decisions are not balanced. You can see Ateta not happy. You can see also the Brighton coach too. Also, Fizz is not happy. Uh, he has given yellow card to both Rice and uh, Pate. James Mina has left the field very early in the match, 16 minutes. I think the tempo of the game is too much. He was injured before he strapped his leg. So, for his age, it's understandable. Saka is contending with a 19-year-old on the left wing of... Uh, of uh, Brighton. We have not seen too much of uh, Pedro and uh, Webeck, but Arsenal should be careful of them because what's happening is they have a high line. They want to play counter just the way uh, uh, Aston Villa was doing last time. They defend and when they get the opportunity, they fire it forward. Let's see what second half is going to, uh, what's going to uh, come out from second half. The instructions that will be given uh, Merino was shown on the stand with his sling, and I'm sure that's his girlfriend or wife, and then seated by his side. Also, he has a there was a lady sitting by, by him anyway. Then we also have Ryan Sterling, the same thing, a lady sitting by him in the stand. They both shown them, and the, the Arsenal fans acknowledged their presence. So, Brighton fans always try to boo. Uh, 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 Trossard whenever he gets the ball because he's their former player and as we have said Kai Havert has scored two goals now since the season started uh, and then he has always scored against Brighton almost four times he has played against Brighton and scored against them so let's wait for second half like, share and subscribe you know what pass this is Gunnar Slovas TV I'll see you in second half guys Arsenal at one Brighton one I must say, Veltman sold the idea to the referee and the referee bought it. He knew that he was not going to be able to connect any pass from where he was going to play that foul. And he kicked Declan Rice, threw him to the ground, fell him, you know, that, that kick made him go down. And the, the, the follow through was that he kicked the ball. The referee came to the spot not minding the malicious challenge on Declan Rice. All he had to do was say, oh, I'm going to follow the rules. Uh, when it comes to player safety, 
the rules now take effect more than player safety. Now, I must say the referee was completely out of his depth. His officiating was intentional and I can see that it was a calculated move by him. It's my opinion and I'm entitled to it. To ruin Arsenal match, he was completely in favor of Brighton. And I'm not going to miss words. Our fans sang it out. He was the twelfth man for Brighton. And uh, I hope he's very happy. When he was leaving the field, the Emery fans booed him properly, which, which, which is ideal, yes. Uh, he did, his name is Chris also. He did what he needed to do as a referee to support every move made by Brighton and uh, discontinue every move made by Arsenal. Most of the fouls given against Arsenal were wrong in my own assessment. So Brighton was not a spectacular team in my own assessment if we are taking our chances. I, com I must commend the boys for holding on to make it at least a point instead of us losing at home. So I wish the referee well in his career of one-sided officiating. And I hope those who supervise him have seen what he has done today. Declan Rice has gotten his first red card in his career. It was a calculated move to make sure he does not play in the North London Derby. But he will see how he will be disgraced when we will return to the North London Derby. We have enough in our debt. Yes, if not for uh, Merino that is injured, we would have seen him play in that match. I commend Calafuri, I commend Timba, I commend Zijenko when they came in. He did very well. I don't know what is wrong with Saka and not, not him not able to take most of his chances. I don't know what's wrong with him today. But whatever it is, we'll continue. It's too early to say who's going to win the Premier League now. So we'll continue the fight and we'll see where we'll land. That's not got a point today. Brighton got a point today. Like, share, and subscribe. You know what happens. It's Gunnar Slovas TV. I'm your host, Augustine. Remember, Jesus Christ loves you. Share this video to your friends. And I'll see you in our next video.